let's go. Yeah. Everyone looks so boring down there. I know. Like, this is way better. Come in. This year, I've had a film crew follow me around for a documentary, which ended up being a massive journey of self-discovery and self-learning. Oh, let there be light. I think what happened to me here after I learned from it, but at the time it was hell. It's mad how much I need human contact when before I thought I hated humans. Yeah, madness. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, the bridge is opening for me. <laughs> I've stopped London. I've been trying loads of new things. Gonna bake a cake. I don't know what's even. And I've been trying to find a way to figure out how to be a happier version of myself. So having this written on my skin hopefully make me not panic. We'll see. I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and hopefully you can try some of those things too. Let's oh, go. Four. <laughs> how to be at one with nature. Since becoming a vegetarian, I've been kind of jealous of people growing their own vegetables in their gardens. And because I've only got a balcony, I've never really thought about it being possible. But I just, at the start of lockdown, just bought some big bags to fill with compost and um, chuck some seeds in and just hope for the best, basically. I'll show you my plants outside. Strawberries. Oh my God, I just can't believe it. All of a sudden, these things just started to grow out of the, the soil and I was just like, wow, this is so cool. <gasps> Look, there's a thing. <laughs> Peas or whatever it is, green pea, green beans. Look at this and look at all these peas. This is a cucumber plant. Let's grab tomatoes on there. I don't know what this is, but it's really growing fast. These are coming on nicely. These are supposed to be potatoes, but... <sighs> they're growing up and not down. Anyway, I'm proud. Look what I got. I got potatoes. <laughs> I actually grew something. When you see it grow and you pick it off, the feeling is so great. I think we can pick that. I think... I can pick that and eat that. Look, it's pure red. That is ready, isn't it? That is ready. I'm gonna pick. I think they're ready, I don't know. Ready? I'm gonna wash them. Oh my god. It's amazing. I ate my own strawberry. And it tastes perfect. Oh my god, it's even better. I am officially a farmer. <laughs> and music. <laughs> How to chill the f out. The bees have an energy between them, and when someone with or something with a different energy enters their space, they try and correct your energy. Look in the holes. <gasps> <sighs> oh, I can hear them. <gasps> Hello. Please <laughs> please don't hurt us. <laughs> Holy f this f Right there. Oh my god. How many did he say there were? 400,000. Oh god, okay. <laughs> okay. When I lay down, I felt okay with being still, and, I, and that's something I feel very rarely. So the feeling of just laying in that caravan <laughs> was really cool. I'd live here, I wouldn't be coming to visit.
I feel well calm, do you? Yeah, I, more than I was before. Yes, maybe it is working. If I came in here, as soon as I felt a panic attack coming on, I think it would help. Because I, I feel so calm right now. I don't feel agitated. Like, when I, when I get massages and stuff, I tend to do that with my foot, just to keep a part of my body moving. And with this, I haven't done that yet. My body's just been OK. The thing is, when I'm writing music, I have moments of this, and then obviously creativity comes in, so that then the, then the agitated feeling comes in because I'm needing to write the next line or something like that. So I've only ever had, like, really short moments of calm in the studio, which is where I've only ever felt it before. But that feeling of needing to jump up and walk around is, like, there all the time. Whereas this, I just... I've never actually ever stayed this still before in my life, ever. <laughs> nuts. How to be a stronger singer. Warm up. I never believed in warming up before, and then I found the magic straw. <laughs> Just trying to get closer. Now it's not over. Don't want to get over. This bottle is to warm up my voice. I never actually ever warmed up before. Then I lost my voice because I got ill once. And then basically I think that changed my vocal cords somehow. And she, the lady said that you get to a point in your age or whatever in your career where your, your vocal cords just change and you, you have to start taking care of them. She said it happens to quite a lot of people where they just don't have to warm up. But I tried all that la 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 la, all that intense stuff. But um, my voice was tired before I went on stage, so I, I kind of stopped that and she taught me about this. And when I'm doing it, I just picture my vocal cords just like that. In my throat. Because I've had a camera down there before and I can see them flapping together and it's really strange. <laughs> How to be reminded. I'm very bad at remembering things. <laughs> I'm not organised. Yeah, my brain doesn't work like that, but I do have a reminder of all the important things that I feel are important to me. And they are in tattoos on my body. And everyone in my life that's taught me a specific thing, I've had them write it down and um, I've had it tattooed on me. So I have words like forgiveness because I find it really tough to forgive people that have done bad. So that's the reason why I got these tattoos, to remind me of what's important. So don't panic. Yeah. Are we doing that in your, your handwriting? Yes. I'm going to do it in capitals, which I don't normally do, but I think Ooh. I'd like that. Find my baby already. It's nice. It's something that you've chosen, something for you. I'm getting this because I need to remind myself this every day. Yes. <laughs> in normal situations, which other people don't panic in, I panic. And um, m when I look at words, it really changes how I feel. So having this written on my skin, hopefully, will subconsciously make me not panic. We'll see. I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> <laughs> This is the only thing I can only teach myself, because someone else can't tell me not to panic. <laughs> Only I can. I love it. How to be a good friend. I have learned how to be a good friend is to always give your friends your time. You can buy them things and you can make them feel better for the meantime, but when you really spend time with them and listen to them and um, make them laugh, I think that's how you be a good friend.
There's some girls that we've been sort of talking on Zoom with that I think she's reconnected with some old friends that she kind of probably didn't have time to connect with when she was travelling so much. Who appeared on a famous TV chat show for Worst Hairdo of the Week? Dan Marie? Um, Claire. Claire! <laughs> Story, as soon as he said it, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Which person do you think met Craig David and shouted, "Craig David"? <laughs> Incorrect. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I meet him, I say it loud, out loud. <laughs> All right. Yeah. This is it, mate. He's been practicing. What I love about her, she's very protective over her friends. So if someone does something to me or one of her friends, we can forgive them a lot quicker than Amory could forgive them. Which is, a, which is a beautiful thing, you know, I always call her like my guard dog. You know, there's been multiple times when, seriously, I've had to like, pull her back. <laughs> going for somebody, going for like, four lads. And she's just like, oh, no, Amory, it's like, me and you, we might get in trouble here, but no, she's like, F it. in there, man. And just, she's got a heart like a lion, man. We have an ongoing feud. She thinks she's better than me at everything. She's be a lot better singer than me. She could probably beat me up. But yeah, I think, I think, I think I've got the upper hand on this one. She's soft as hell as anything, and she's super sensitive, but she'll do anything for her people. You, go. you can do that. Yeah, I can do that. But yeah, so if any of her family or friends, don't expect to be forgiven. But her, she's a softie. Okay, so first person to just get three in a row in wins, wins. Okay. All right, so you well, can go from, from wherever you want. You can do it. There you go. And Are you actually <laughs> joking? I don't get it. Wherever you like as well. Then, 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 and then the person. Oh, you piece of come on. Just from wherever you like. Okay. All right. One or one or one or one or one or. Feels like a dartboard. <laughs> ah. Okay. All right. I'm getting out of breath. Now. Basically, we're actually both. Both of both. <laughs> How to be in a photo, I have no idea. <laughs> I try to be true to myself and not try to look perfect, because there's no such thing. Let's take some shots. Should we just do it? If you get up on top of the wall, that could yes. be quite cool. Yes, I do. You know that Statue of Liberty? Holding it up to watch out. <laughs> That's exactly what I am. <laughs> Will Beach is a photographer that I met when I was on tour supporting Ed Sheeran. We ended up, you know, talking and getting on, and his photos were incredible, and I just loved how he made me look and the moments that he captured. So I just wanted to work with him from then on. Don't ruin the trousers, don't ruin the trousers, no, don't ruin the trousers. They're all white. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Really sick. So nice. Sick. Oh, what I love about working with her, she's, she's always, like, pushing me to be more creative as well. I think we, we work quite well as a little team because she kind of, like, bounces ideas off me and I bounce ideas off her. I love that one. Sick, it is. That's just, a uh, big one, though. That's a big one. Maybe we'll we try, try and make, get that Yeah, we can try and make it happen. It looks great. Sick, that's nice. Sick. Yeah? Let's get some fireworks about, shall we? Yes! They look really nice. <laughs> OK, ready, everyone? I don't know why, <laughs> but I just love fireworks. I think it's the... You're told not to be close to them, you're told to keep away, and I'm just like, right, I'm going to be close to them and not keep away from them. <laughs> OK, I'm going to light it. This one's a... This one's nuts, I can feel it. Yeah, they're a bit dangerous. I like danger. <laughs> what the f <laughs> That's just a few ways on how I'm trying to be a better Anne-Marie. See ya.
Oh, it's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, 